What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead of War Let's Play as Grand Columbia. And in the last episode we have just been constantly thrashing the Brits. We've pushed them back to Tripoli, their last holdout. Um, but we are going to advance on them and capture it. And that will knock them out of the game for good. Just in time for our um, fleet at Ceylon, or for our forces at Ceylon, to uh, jump on to these two regions and catch them pretty rapidly. Nagpur is going to be a bit exposed, um, but we're going to want Ceylon to effectively be constantly pumping out troops. So right now, they're recruiting troops for the army that's in there. I could just use these, but I'm not going to. Alejo Redondo. Let's keep the recruitment queue. Just keep the recruitment coming. Don't let it stop. Uh, we've got a fleet in harbour, which freed up um, Colombo, which was currently be which was being blockaded by an odd by a, um, a Maratha fleet. Now we're going to start building sloops. Actually, do you want to build sloops or do you want to build six or eight? Are a bit more dangerous. Let's build some sick raids. Ah, what the hell? Fill it up. Um, but yes, we don't want to start raiding. We don't want to. We don't want to take out the Brits before we're in a good position to jump on these two territories. So we'll jump on them, take them, and then, um, then we can be in a really good position to deal with our foes. So let's clear three infantry units out from here. Add the two elites plus my household cavalry in. Yes, and we are fighting in Europe as well. There's recruitment all over the place. There's going to be plenty of stuff I'm going to forget between episodes. Oh, they chase down a fleet. Uh, auto is all that. Back you go. Ooh, the Austrians are sallying out of Turin. An interesting little excursion. Let's deal with that. Because, yes, we have landed on the continent. And we are bringing the Austrians um, some pain and misery on their doorstep. We've got our economic blockade set up. And as we capture territory, we can roll that blockade along. But hopefully, it won't take much before we start to see them crack. Ideally, I'd like to form a defensive line along the Rhine and then focus on India. But until that happens, we must... Well, firstly, we have to get to the Rhine. So they're going to sally out. As usual, you want to deploy um, back... You want to deploy back so they're mortars, the garrison mortars, which I, I can't I can't remember if they got them or not. Let's assume that they did. You want to deploy a bit further back to force their mortars to um, have to abandon their guns. This is a really nice army. So typically they are more on they're more on they're always more out on the right than they are on the left. Historically. Set up my howitzers. We may as well quick climb, try to minimize our casualties. Switch to round shot so we can actually get some hits. Yeah, there's their garrison mortars. They should abandon those guns. We guess we're getting some hits on their fusiliers and so on. Although they are engaging us with their 12 pounder foot artillery. Which we can't do anything about. Here they come. Okay, 
how it says switch to quick climb. Could get them to just attack ground here. Maybe you hit the grenadiers. This 24 pounder. There you go. The, gar the mortars have abandoned their. Oh, quick climb the gate, please. Both of you. I want to watch this. So who's going to be first to fire? We've lost a gun. None of our own gunners, apparently. Come on, quick climb. Hit him in a choke point. Okay, that might, been, that might have been a bit overkill, but didn't drop two units. The Grenadier Guards have abandoned the fight. Let's hit this flank because that's where the bulk of their forces are. Wood artillery just keep engaging. And you guys also just keep engaging. Ultimately, with no garrison mortars to worry about. Delicious. Excellent shot. So the Hussars are going to be at our risk. The first volleys of musketry have been fired. Good lives come in. Killed a couple of them, but not enough. is engaging them. They've not lost a huge amount of troops. If they break, they should come back. Unless we shatter them. They've changed their mind. They do not want to fight. Horse Grenadier Guards. Keep my cavalry near my infantry. Provide some extra firepower. Hussars are lost. Bolt, Modena, Moderna, Moderna Curacier. Killed by a general. Happy man now. Check it. It's so very nice to run along our line. They're like uh, Kevin Costner. Frontier. These marines are giving them a good going over. Hold on, I need to check out. Oh, they've dismounted. We'll have you. So let's find out where we. How do we get the general? Oh, I was one of those cuirassiers. They have no general. You, Austria, have sallied. So you don't get to do that. You can't just sit inside your wall. Okay, let's to redirect our artillery fire here. Let's mop up their horse grenadier guards. There you go, they suddenly worked out. Wait a minute. I think I was quick enough. I don't think I was. I think they're going to land in the centre. Oh no. Yeah, we go. Name of the Fusiliers, they are large in number. Two last. 
Pulse Grenadier Guards. Got him. Delightful. Provincial cavalry, mercenaries, artillery, line. And these guys just getting chewed up. You know what we might do? Give them battle. Cavalry's pushing out. Yeah, they can try and stop us if they like. PG fancy. Bring the house on cavalry in. Oh, they're placing stakes like they think it's an offensive. Okay, these infantry detachments are going to scale the wall. New men can cover this sector. Attacking, I suppose. No, don't take a long time. <laughs> They've got to run a real gauntlet to get to our line. Then when they finally get there, it's just a bunch of line infantry ready, ready to fight. They may take comfort in that there are provincial cavalry to their rear. On you men, make ready and fire. Ah, down shows that moment to fall over. Advance up. just really made a hash of it. Normally the AI can be a bit, can be pretty decisive for this kind of stuff. Good hits, good hits. They formed a little defensive position but the artillery is just going to pound the bejesus out of them. So once we've secured the wall and secured the gates, so where's my howitzer by a round shot? Can go after the enemy here. <laughs> yeah, just, just gone, just gone. unit you're here a couple of units wait to get in through the gate a couple of units where you guys just push up to protect the flank all of my artillery switched to round shot
Make sure you guys capture the gate. worry about then we'll have to worry about that something like that just come on in well actually we've got them all we have all of the gates excellent so you guys can get over here and come in through here Yeah, these fools. They're sat there going, no, this is this is our city. And suddenly. <laughs> they're, they're engaging the troops above the walls. We've got a marine, there they come. There go our boys suddenly going, oh, nuts. There you go. Cavalry just running through the side gate. And these gunners are suddenly going, are you sure this is where they where they put us. Yeah, yeah, this is what he says. Okay, well, what's all that screaming? Oh my god! <laughs> Surprise! It's just being lined up against the wall to be shot. <laughs> that just wasn't a defense. That was not a sally. That was just miserable. And we don't even count as capturing the city. Even though we're inside the walls, they've all run away. Apparently that was nope, that was some kind of trick. Oh, there's another Prussian fleet on the way. Oh, our sloops are ooh, ooh, they're not gonna go for our sloops. Interesting. So what the Austrian army did is actually, hey, they did navigate the the bridge. Um, what that uh, what that Austrian fleet did, what the Austrian force did, is actually really good for us. Really good. It means the army that we've got in northern France can actually cover the bridge to the northeast of Paris and prevent them from coming back, while the army we've got marching up from the west can take the city. So they have inadvertently made it so much simpler for us. That's very, very nice of them. Sweden are sending their agents across. Right. Trade we raided. To be honest, you shouldn't take long to convert. No, a few turns. Minus 12. You're going to be out of action for a while. Okay, keep on upgrading. You, 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 where is my... So not recruited one. Let's do a sloop. Your roads are being upgraded. Okay, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Lots of new industry in Britain. And in Morocco and in Marrakesh. 
Excellent. So yeah, we've effectively we've gutted that force. We're gonna take Turin. Just take it, it's ours. Let's repair the city. Let's replenish the army. It's given us visibility of another Austrian army, but that's why we've got more troops coming up. But this is what I mean. They moved up to here, to Calais. So we can sit this army on this bridge and fundamentally prevent them from reinforcing Paris from that direction while you swoop in and attack the city. And we're definitely going to do that. I'm just going to make sure I've not missed anything super important. I'll oh, make sure we get rid of the modern university. It's a fantastic university, but we've got some really good research capacity right now, and we don't need any technology so rapidly. Common labourer, plus one commander in besieging. Nice. Um, actually, yeah, in which case, let's just go for go for Paris now. Leon Edelman. You're going down. Some Austrian-Hungarian militia. Swiss guards. I mean, a lot of their their army's pretty knackered. So we're going to take Paris. Do a, a massive spate of reinvesting and rebuilding. And then probably um, knock down... Well, we will knock down a bunch of a bunch of um, universities. Because Paris is a real powerhouse region. Unsurprisingly, because it's one region that encompasses all of France. Which is a powerhouse anyway. So... <laughs> Yeah, that's one of the aspects of Napoleon I quite liked. They did break France up into smaller regions, rather than just having having it as France. And the artillery on the high ground, bombard, howitzers, front. Their line or their army is very weak. We are going to push forward and destroy them. Actually, get my carabiner on the right. Fire it will off at the start to make sure I don't kill all my own men. Just give my howitzers some preliminary targets. They're firing shrapnel at us, so we want to advance at, at speed. Yeah, that artillery is going to wreck some havoc. We've lost about 40 marines already. Sending forward some Erzog Leopold Curassier. The Marines hold ground. Give them a volley. Okay, cool. My marines can get the high ground. Push forward a little bit more, because right now we are we are in range of there. Quick climb. Well, we're, we are, we're able to be engaged. Send my heavy cavalry around to their rear. Artillery just bombard their infantry, cause maximum havoc. Bring my general up. They're being slaughtered. Carabiner engaging on the flank. Yeah, 
they've tried a bayonet charge in the front, but they've been pushed back. Blank is failing. Quick climb. Oh, good hit against the militia. They uh, they have a, still have a semblance of a front line, so they are still holding. And lots of their units aren't actually. They're not shattered, they're just broken. So let's send my household cavalry forward to have a, something to say about that. Switch my howitzers to round shot to prevent too much fratricide. So we just ran right through the first regiment of militia. Shattered, keep killing. Don't come back. Okay, there we go. Cool. Shattered, broken. Killed their general. Excellent. Still just broken. Shattered, shattered. Go after the first regiment. They're a bit out of the way, but kind of got to do it. Keep advancing our flank up. All that's left of their um, artillery. Gracier, charge the militia. Before they form up. Wavering. Yeah, they're broken. Shattered, 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 shattered. Beautiful. Oh, and there goes the rest of the force. It's all her garrison artillery. More to garrison howitzers. That was pretty awesome. That's exactly how we want the battle to go. So let's see what we've got to play with in France. You are down here to the south. Not very much, really. So replenish, let's get rid of Orléans, let's get rid of um, Lyon, let's repair the port. Are you going to go garrison the Nava? So we can free up the sloop. A bunch of first rates. Okay, let's get repairing. There's lots of things have been damaged in rebellions and all that sort of stuff. So France are good Catholics. They're a little bit Protestant, but let's get we can't get a church school. Let's get a happiness building, and then let's start repairing all of the things that we need to make sure we top up, including repairing all of Paris's buildings, which could get a bit expensive. Let's build some defences. Catch my cavalry out to La Havre to deal with these guys. Excellent. See, so these were raiders. Now they're valiant protectors of my economy. Let's upgrade to cobbled roads. 
Another battle fleet ready to enter the Baltic. Keep Gdansk blockaded. Oh yeah, I tried to move my sloops away too early. Look at him go. <laughs> what a weird decision. Keep them blockaded. Get my sloops, just order them back down here. Awesome. Yes, let's get this area stabilized. You're going to go try and engage this chap wherever he elects to go. Let's replace. Let's build a craft workshop. Now, this fleet isn't directly needed unless it's to hover around Savoy, because they also need to be dealt with, as do the Knights of St. John. Let's repair the farm. You're going to be a happiness building. You can become a craft workshop. You can advance towards Tripoli. Dealt with all of this. Corporate and gold braid. I mean, this, this general's doing pretty good. So then in India... I can bring you guys in for repairs. Let's go scouting, Mr. Cresswell. Small fleet. That's British. Opportunity here. Raid. Bacalor. Another small fleet. Raid Bombay. They've again they're not they haven't got big fleets. But they've got enough that it's worth it's a hundred percent worth building more ships. Okay, I suppose that you're the one I want to keep blockaded. Let's pick a few of these up, these pots and blockade them. Although, no, I accidentally sent all of you and I only meant to send the sixth. Although, to be fair, I might actually be better off Doing pairs of fourth raids because those are quite good. Sh those are pretty respectable ships in this theatre. But less. At least you got France. Um, yeah, stabilize France. Push out. So if I can take Strasbourg, Cologne, and Amsterdam, that can be my front line against Austria. Unless they're really weak, because these are an awful lot of ruined buildings here. They may well be in trouble. Um, but apart from that, let's... I mean, I would like to invade Naples. Invade Naples and open up a southern front against the, Aust the Austrians. Um, but we don't have to worry about that now. Your recruitment is ongoing. Okay, you were going to go join that army, but now you don't have to. You don't need a garrison guard, you can take these units. That's your artillery. So, plus one artillery, plus three more artillery, so plus four artillery, that's got three slots left. So you probably want unit of Hussar, unit of Crossier, and then a unit of regular line, just to add a bit more mass. You're coming south. 
So you four slots. Can I get camel nomads rather than mi camel missile cavalry? It appears not. Three units cavalry plus one more regular infantry, I think. Is there a limit to fusiliers? Yes, there is. Okay, something like that. So I can send you over here. As I capture the various ports, I need to keep these moving up. Uh, you can raid. Cool. Um, I think that's everything to do this turn. Okay, you're fully recruiting. That's fine. Awesome. Let's... Okay, you could probably do with losing a lot of your militia, losing a unit of musketeers instead. Start trying to get some extra... Oh no, not 24 pounders, they all come from the north. Something like that. Although you can't get that many, only six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which I want. That, there you go. Got plenty of infantry, need more cavalry. You are also going to be at strength. But I think now is the time where we have to declare on Mexico. There can only be one Lord of the Caribbean. Declare war. They are our allies. It will help. It will hinder us massively. I think we lost, a, lost an alliance with Sweden, but that's okay. You're just going to hold. You're the big hitter. Advance down the road. Let's see if we can take out their, one of their generals. Yes, we got him. Sadly, you're not going to make it in time. Yeah, they have some ships that can make it a bit awkward for us, but you're going to go join the big fleet, but you can join these guys instead. Okay, let's get you embarked. And drop you off down here. In which case, then, you are actually going to push north to try and provide support. <laughs> actually, you're going to go over here. You're going to land your troops over here. And then you can attack. Actually, no, don't bother attacking the shipyard. Get back up here to protect Providence. Oh, you can't make it. That's fine. Okay, let's maybe get an, a general here. Request support and also march south towards Mexico. Because that is a lot of guys. We probably want our... Uh, what's in here? Not a very decent fleet. 
You come over here and we're just going to auto resolve that because that's just gonna, that fleet's just going to get torpedoed out of the water. Kablam! Just blockade them. Just prevent them from being able to move any of their armies over land. To be honest, they could be quite badly depleted. Because they're all they're all attrited. If they lose New Spain, they have bankruptcy. <laughs> You've only done everything you could do with. There's no point sabotaging the port. Try sabotage the sugar plantation. Okay, that's been done. Everyone else is going to carry on recruiting and doing stuff. Our finances will have taken a bit of a hit, but we're over 100,000 a turn, so I don't think we really mind. Cool, let's hit end turn. I finally <laughs> I got a, a steam achievement about using treachery to turn against my enemies and I don't think what I did was particularly treacherous I just declared war on them I've declared war on allies lots of times I'm not quite sure um, what I did then was the was a big deal but there we are Retira! so they're going to interfere with our plans they're going to um, ambush a couple of our, or well, dismantle a couple of our, a couple of our um, things that we were building. Our, our ships are at vulnerable. La flota está perdida. Too bad they actually captured that ship. I think this is why we need fourth rates. We do need more firepower. Mean more firepower to make sure that they, they, they don't take advantage of our weak ships. I think I need to sail my fleet, the Strait of Gibraltar, directly into the strait to prevent it or to not make it quite so easy for our adversaries to um, simply sail through. If we just if we just block it off, then we have control. See, so I think they want to get into the med as well. And they're just gonna do some raiding. I mean, there's a little cluster of ships here. They all kind of we want to get in. Let me raid at Dijon. That's fine. Yeah, so you guys more deliberately park right here. Trait gained. So you got light infantry doctrine. Fleet destroyed. Minus 10. They still really don't like us. Oh, come on. Catch up. There we go. So who is in here? Mm, reasonable fleet. You're going to go back to the Americas. Probably going to engage that fleet. But only once we've done some of the stuff we need to do over here. Okay, so Paris. There's a lot of work that can be done. Get things upgraded. Churn out line infantry. We need mass. Because you're going to have to go south to deal with this army. 
then go north. Maybe the garrison here at Turin will be able to deal with them afterwards. Start to recruit a bunch of line to act as a garrison for Turin. Just in case Genoa fancies getting any ideas. We'll want to push on towards Milan. Then we'll eventually want to take Genoa. Lots of good stuff. Workers on strike. No, they're not. Okay, I think I want to... You're going to storm down here. Try to sabotage the sugar plantation. There we go. Trying to do some economic warfare against them. Let's bring you guys up first. Your reinforcements can slowly start to catch up. We can move them by ship, but I'm not going to. We're not overly worried about. Tells me once we knock out, take out Mexico City, a bankruptcy's got a lot worse. Death, their armies are going to become nothing. I think what we want to do. Well. Actually, what I do want to do. I know all that recruitment's going to go down to the fleet that's blockading the port. Okay, I think I need to recruit another batch of first rates to start recruiting even more firepower. Because you're a put. You're, you're pretty good, but you're, st you're still waiting a turn to get extra ships. Okay, sí, sí, let's señor. give you get the, get the first train admiral. Sí, señor. Then you'll collect the rest of these ships that are being recruited in our own. Okay, I think what I want to do is firstly mop up this Maratha fleet just to make sure they aren't going to be on our flank. And we'll secure another trade zone for our empire. And deny one to the Marathas while we in, while we engage in economic war. So their fleet's already depleted. Just the one heavy first rate. direction we're going yeah lots of their fleet are damaged first rates down to 70 guns 71 guns 59 guns 78 guns 33 yeah they've lost a they've lost a lot of their firepower so see if we can cross their T they were attempting to meet. They were trying to cut us off, but now they appear to have given up. Bully for us. It does mean that Shakti is going to get obliterated. Although I might actually take the entire fleet into our service and send them back to the Americas. Constant minor course adjustments. You can see them being made.
bad news Shakti though. They're within range of our ships, maybe Montans. They are engaging. Bad news for you. Yeah, lots of their they're, they're heavy hitters. Uh, going to take a lot longer to get in. Your next volley is going to be chain. I suspect they will be in range to do that. Yeah, you might just fire a round shot if, you're, if, if the guns are ready, just fire. Are getting some damage on their masts regardless. Okay, the next one's going to be chained when you're done. Poor little brig. Musket fire is opened up. See the little ram is working overtime. Some are starting to get. They're, they're all they're starting to finish. Oh, the mainmast lads! Oh, their admiral was atop the mainmast. Bad luck. The brig does not like having their sails shot out. Ah, oh, bad luck. It was more the ones who <laughs> was there to the stern. There we go. The heavy hitters are attempting to... They've changed their course. They're going to come about here. The brig is routing. You're going to cut off my ship. I'm going to pump broadside into Montans. Get my broadside ready. The brig is surrendered. Sail on ahead. We still need to make make up the distance. The ship that's I'm not attempting to board us. No. <laughs> oh. Didn't like that, did you? So that's the head. That's their. Um, oh, they. Oh, they've come back. Get out of the way! They've surrendered, but they've got a nifty, we've got a nifty gap to manoeuvre through. There we go. They're big fleets coming in now. Coming in strong. They can start engaging the Moogle fleet, yeah. Or the Maratha fleet, I should say, not the Moogle fleet. Getting 
some free damage. Yeah, it was nice of them to to surrender with a little gap because it means that we've only we've got to do a fairly minor course correction to get around them. chain shot as they get closer you're engaging something real far away Is gone. Delicious. Did you go after Nervic? You did. Shot the top off the mizzen. Down she goes. Here we go. Now the now the strategy has to be adapted. You're on fire. Blast some shots into her mast, see if it'll help. It will not. There we go. First rate's lost the main mast. You're going to park up in front of this fellow. You're going to get a broadside from a heavy first, and you will not like it. Okay, let's get the back of our to sail like this around the back. You're on fire, you've lost your mainmast. Oh, you're routing. Load broadside right. Second rate, you should not like this engagement one bit. You get sailing, you get sailing around here. First rate against first rate. Somewhat unsurprising that you're losing that because their ship's generally better than ours, one for one. At least with the buffs the AI gets on hard mode. Keep turning, keep turning. Close enough.
blast their sails to pieces, me hearties. Sail ahead of them and slow them down. Understandable that you routed. Pivot, get some shots into the back of Shashabak. Lost your mast. You've lost your main. You're sinking though, so you are not long for this world. By a broadside right. See if you can snipe the front off of Shivalik. Actually, just do round shot. That's quite good. Sorry, Princess. Uh, you took too much damage. You could not be rescued. Come on, get around like that. Just need to pivot a little bit. Princessa is still fighting. Although, not for long. We've only got one chance. We can win fast enough before she sinks. Surrendered. It's still sinking. I've got a turn fire, it will off. I mean, I don't think it will help, but in theory, if it helps with fires. because of the damage. Another broadside coming in, hopefully. We're just too far away. Just out. Surrendered. Yes! We managed to surrender the fleet before she sank. Oof. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. We don't, we probably don't need these smaller ships. We've got lots of trade fleets. They're ready to rock and roll. ¿Cuál es la orden? Ordenes recibidas y entendidas. Okay, so you men need to go to the Americas. From the Americas, we need a trade fleet. And we need a battle fleet to replace them. That's why I like having these fleets down here. <laughs> okay, you're actually in really good shape. Now's the time to deploy this force. Land, land them off the coast here just to try and cut off any attempts they might make to uh, reinforce. Uh, 
And you, good sir, get to come up here. Get hold of some extra ships. Awesome. And then you, actually you can provide a couple of ships over here. So, false and galleons are roughly equivalent. So, I think you you end up becoming one decent little trade fleet. Can't recruit an admiral here, but I would like to add some more ships to the trade fleet. You're growing this fleet. Good, so you're ready. Cool. Um, then let's hop to Europe. Take Sebastian Monino and engage these Austrians that have raided in Marseille. I mean, they're pretty knackered. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of this Austrian raiding force. Cheers, everyone.